in July 2010, bombs went off at Chadondo rugby grounds and Ethiopian village in Kampala, killing over 70 people in a bloody terror attack by Al-Shabaab. In the weeks and months that followed, there was a lot of fear around the country as the security forces hunted down those behind the attacks. Just like the Chinese saying that where there is a problem, there is an opportunity, Falcon Robert Marker, a second year student at the International University of East Africa, learned lessons from the attack and came up with an idea of how he could help prevent similar attacks. Mwaka thought of making a metal detector that can be used to trace even small metals hidden in other materials like wood, plastic and cloth. If you send a human to check uh, st something which is uh, suspected to be having a bomb, it can kill, can kill him. At the time, Mwaka had no access to materials in the internet to search and enrich his idea. I didn't know how to make it, how to start, but I got that plan, I said, I said, I will make it, I will try by all means, I designed a robot for fighting against terrorism. The joints and movable parts of the prototype were made from old DVD players. With the arm, the arm for picking that bomb, uh, the arm for holding the sensors and the camera, it is the one I started with. His machine has three main joints can turn left to right and even up and down but has three joints for reducing the, the length of the arm. For the wheels, Mwaka made use of all toy cars. The front wheels and the back wheels, I separated them because I wanted to make them be at a, a, a bigger separation than how it was because the other one, that toy car was smaller in size. In the beginning, the robot was not remote control, but read about the use of a Bluetooth module, which informed his decision to make a remote control unit for the machine. Then Arduino board is the one I program. I connect to my computer, I type a code, I program it to, I give it commands, how to respond when I press the buttons on my phone. It also has variable resistors, used in sensing. Marker demonstrates how the machine works by concealing pieces of steel under wooden boards. The detector sensors are also linked to the speaker and they act as an alerting device. So that current, it is taken to a relay switch. That relay switch, it switches an alarm which is connected to the, to the battery. In order for the detector to sense metals from a distance, the operator can increase the range of the circuit ferret rod. But I want it to be using the camera that is on the arm to scan a person and know. And you'd expect that uh, the security forces in Uganda and other agencies would tap into such a technology in the fight against terrorism. But the irony is, Marker, the brain behind this has been arrested by police three times, suspecting him to be a terrorist. I was from the Ministry of Science and Technology from Tinda. Then I passed near Naguru, near the gate going to Naguru Police Headquarters. This is where I was arrested and I was taken to the barracks. The truck also has a cylinder that can be used for irrigation. It has a pump which is made from local materials. After giving the commands to the gadget through a remote, the water is pumped through a hose pipe, which has small holes to increase the pressure and also avoid wasting. Because without the, the pump, the water cannot come like uh, under gravity or because it, uh, the arm is at a higher height than the container. This idea can be beneficial for farmers because the distance over which it can pump water or irrigate is determined by the length of the arm and the capacity of the pump. The same prototype can also be used to lift objects and also dispose of rubbish. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.